Now in this video I'm going to work through the solutions then to parts B, C, D and E of this question. And you can always fast forward to any of the worked solutions to any of these parts. OK, well in the first part here, part B, we've got to work out the probability of the event A occurring. And we're told that the event A occurs when the two balls drawn from the bag P are of the same colour. So it's these two sections here which involve drawing from bag P. And so the probability then of getting uh, event A happening means that we could get say two reds. So we'll just put that in as probability of two reds, a red and another red. Or you could get the probability of two yellows. So that would be event A. Two balls drawn from bag P are of the same colour. So the probability of getting two reds will be a half times two fifths. So we've got a half multiplied by two fifths. And then to this we add the probability of getting two yellows. So that would be a half multiplied by two fifths here. So we've got a half multiplied by two fifths. And if you work that out, you end up with two fifths. OK, so probability of event A. Now in the next part, part C, we've got to show that the probability of B is five ninths. So how do we go about working out the probability of event B? Well, event B occurs when the ball drawn from the bag Q is red. So we're looking at this one here, and this one here, this one here, and this one here. But remember you've got to start from the beginning of any tree diagram. So the probability that we draw a red from bag Q has got to be where we draw from bag P a red, followed by a red, followed then by the red from Q. So we'll just mark that in as red, red, red. But we can get it if we just do red, yellow, then red. So we've got the probability of red, yellow, and then red. Or you've got this path down here, yellow, red, and red. So probability of yellow, red, and red. And finally, we've got this path, yellow, yellow, red. So probability of yellow, yellow, and then red. OK? Now, when it comes to working out these probabilities, all we do is we just multiply them in the normal way as we go along the branches. So if you do that, you should find you get the following. And working this out, you end up with a total of five ninths. OK, so that's what we had to show. Now in part D, show that the probability of A intersection B equals two ninths. So how do we go about working out the probability of A intersection B? Well, A intersection B, the intersection means we're looking for both these events to have something in common. Well, what's it going to be then? Event A is when we take two balls drawn from bag P of the same colour. And B occurs when the ball drawn from bag Q is red. So if both events have got to happen, that means we're looking for two balls from the bag P to be the same colour. So that could be, say, getting a red and then a red. But then you've got to have event B occurring, so you've got to end on a red. So therefore, that'll be a red there. And then you could have the probability of getting, say, two the same colour from bag P would be, say, two yellows, a yellow and then a yellow. And then we've got to have event B occurring and B, so we've got to have a red occurring there. So if we insert the probabilities here, what we get is the following. Now if you work this out, it comes to a total then of two ninths. 
So we'll just put that there, that it equals two ninths. Now finally in part E, we've got to work out the probability of A union B, and it says hence. So it obviously is implying that what we must have done beforehand is going to help. And indeed it does, because you should be familiar with the formula that the probability of A union B is exactly the same as the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. This is a standard result, as I say, that you should already know. If not, make sure you do learn it. Now, all we need to do is just substitute our values in because the probability of A was two fifths. We worked it out up here. Plus the probability of B, which was five ninths. So two fifths plus five ninths. And now subtract the probability of A in section B, which we worked out as two ninths. So minus two ninths. And if you work that out, what you find you get is a total of 11 fifteenths. Eleven fifteenths then. Okay, well I hope it's given you some idea then how to go about these various parts of this question.